now. Okay, we are live. It's Neil Atkinson and Andy Heaton with you across a number of platforms. Hot mic first and foremost. It's where we've been all night watching the Mighty Boys in Red, but also across all the other social media platforms that we can. Andy Heaton's got his flute of champagne ready for the trophy lift, and we want you to come and join us and enjoy the rest of this one, and we'll go from there uh, right the way across the board. Uh, it is great, if you can see on the background here, the coverage that is on Sky Sports of all sorts of stuff going right the way across Liverpool's history uh, soundtrack by the brilliant Jamie Webster and we can go there uh, supposedly you were right you were live right through the break Andy oh, I didn't, I didn't call I'm anyone sure. a con- we're alright no, so we're alright as long as that happened uh, we'll be in great shape can't slaughter anyone these days can you Jamie there uh, doing the absolute business and he's been so Neil you've gone Neil you've gone silent Neil Neil Neil, I'm hello. Here, Andy. Right, there you go, there you go. Anything. No, go on, go on. You're okay. right, let's go. So, I was silent for a minute or two there as things are coming through for you. So, we'll be with you now right the way through the trophy lift. Hopefully, you're going to be able to enjoy that. Uh, and then we'll go from there. And it's fantastic to see the images from the city that are currently playing. There's the, the Trent Alexander-Arnold mural we were lucky to be part of and to have that be uh, put up there. Uh, everyone worked really hard on that. And just in general, it's been a tremendous... Well, not just five years for the City, but for longer than that for the City. Uh, it's been a terrific time uh, to be around this city and this football club, and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. And this is the the fruits of that labour from these fantastic, fantastic footballers. And, and Andy, the scenes that you're getting to see here with all the players, the celebrations, it's absolutely phenomenal. This is a great little compilation. You know what? It's mad how much so little and something so inco- inconsequential can, can have an effect. I'd, so... And I might I might be over romanticizing a little bit, but like a lot of stuff away from football has kind of come to a head over the last couple of weeks since this happened. And you know, conversations with me dad, especially you know, I adore and yeah, it it's just magical. And I'm just so so grateful to be involved in this, and I'm grateful to be involved with, with with what we're doing and just being able to share this. I mean, Francesca, I'll give you an idea. Francesca's got out of bed and knocked on the door, especially to say, can she stay up for the lift? <laughs> which might, which I know it to the rest of the world doesn't mean, no. it doesn't mean a thing, but you know, to me, that that means the world. Do you know, I, I, and yeah. I say that for everyone involved who, who supports the club, who's followed us in our journey. And it feels like kind of, and again, I might be a little bit more than, but it feels like, we started this nine, nearly ten years ago, and who the fucking guest? Do you know what I mean? And I made up, I'm sharing it with 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 you, and I'm sharing, made up, sharing it with John, and and everyone who's listening and stuff like that. It's just, it's crack. I'm struggling to get my head around it, uh, but I'm so deliriously happy at the same time. Indeed, it's the right thing to be, and everything's getting ready right now for this trophy lift and for this moment and the share moments. And for me, that's the that's the best part of this. It is the shared aspect. It's not. You know, and, and we all know this, it's not what we would want. You know, the ideal is that it is all in the uh, it's all in the stadium and we're all in together, but this is the way in which it is for now. And wherever you are, whatever you're watching this, you could be watching it anywhere in the world, you could be out and about whilst you're watching it, uh, because the fact that we're, we're putting it across so many platforms simultaneously, uh, you know, it's good that we've got the tech to be able to do that as well during this time of crisis, that, that people can have these shared experiences still, and it isn't perfect, Andy. But it'll do for now. I mean, isn't that just a, isn't that just a life? You know what I mean? Without without getting too yeah. too broad about it, it's not perfect, but it'll do, and you just make the best of it. And maybe once this is all over, you know, maybe we just appreciate it, appreciate it that a little bit more. And I, I and I mean that for myself as well as you. I often have the conversation when Liverpool were qualifying for Champions League quarterfinals in the late in the late two thousands, like seemingly every other year. We kind of got lackadaisical about it when. You know, you just yeah. you you just don't know, and then we went so long without it, and I just don't, you know, we we savor this. And I, of all the montages, a lot of them roll back to Kenny thirty years ago. You know, and he's saying, "Oh well, you know, it, it, pretty much doing the whole running man, it's gone. We need to go next year." And who 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 would have guessed? And I know they all say that. So, what I'd say is to anyone who's listening as well, and I'm not talking about the unbearable stuff, but embrace this and enjoy it and milk it. But absolutely yeah. everything. Because you know what? We don't no. know when this is going to come again. It all seems great at the minute. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Do whatever the fuck you want. But don't 
don't be told by other people not to not not to wring every last mm. bit of sweat out of it. Couldn't agree more with that, but also these are the golden times. Liverpool have put two back-to-back title-winning seasons together. They've only won the title in one of them, but they put two back-to-back title-winning seasons together. They've got the, the before this season they were back-to-back Champions League finalists and won one of them. Uh, and everybody knows the thrifty way this season. My point about this is these are this is the dynasty. These are the golden times. It's happening right now, and it's important to I think cling on to that, to hold on to that, and to. To make that a massive part of who we are and what we're saying, to be honest with you, this is it. This is when people want to say, well, when was it this good? This is when it was this good. It has never, ever, ever been better and it won't be. And I think you can see that, you know, no side has put back to back title winning performances together uh, across a couple of seasons um, since, um, you know, since uh, Manchester United, with the exception of Manchester City in the last two seasons. No other side's done back to back Champions League winning seasons and league winning form at the same time since Manchester United 12 years ago. You know, this is, these are the times, the times are now, uh, and this is what it is all about, and don't think it isn't, and as Andy says, we've got to enjoy every last little bit of this, and we should not be told not to enjoy any of it, it's not about whether or not you're deemed to be unbearable by some sort of supporter of Team X, Y or Z, it's none of their business, take no notice of them, it's none what, of what their concern, is, you enjoy what it. Say, sorry Neil, no? is worry about tomorrow's problems tomorrow, hmm? um, I, I, that makes sound really... I don't know. Maybe a little bit simplistic, but what I mean, Liverpool are about to lift the championship, you know. And if this all ends tomorrow, and Liverpool, I'm not saying they will. By the way, I'm not saying. It, but if this all ends tomorrow, fall apart no. path tomorrow, Liverpool have gone Champions League, win the league. Just take this all in. Don't worry about it. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not trying to make a broader point or address anyone in particular with this. But th- no. th- this is. I've lived for what I'm about to see now, mate. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I've lived for it. Um, and it's about to be delivered. And I can't I can't quite bend my head around it. No, it's worth it's worth dwelling on that, I think. And as I've tried to say in commentary, Jay McKenna said it on one of our shows, I pointed it out in one of those little email things I do uh, on a day-to-day basis. People, and we're seeing all the goals from each of the games, that one's Southampton, and this one's Arsenal now, if you're watching it on Sky Sports. This is the one that us. you're on, by the way. Yeah. Is it? Fucking hell. Uh, there is, for me, within all of this, you can't... You've got to to take it for what it is right now. This is this is the moment uh, that we have been waiting for. And people have made life decisions based around this. People chose career paths that kept them in Liverpool or that brought them to Liverpool because they wanted this. And that is a thing to remember. It's a thing to scream about as Fabinho absolutely rattles that one home. You know, people chose this. And I, I was really pleased when McKenna pointed that out. It is a really, really valid point. People said, no, I've got to be here in this city for when this thing happens. And for me, that's a phenomenal no, it is. thing. And you know what I feel brilliant for as well? And, and I can say it's a specific example. The old fellas, like the ones who've... And I know that we all talk about youth and getting young people and girls and all that into the game. And no one's more passionate about getting young girls into, 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 into football, both on and off the pitch, than I am. But my half fella's seeing this now, um, and it may sound mad, but he's, he's that's it for him now. Yeah, I had a long conversation with him that's last fair. night, and you know, and he's seen us win more league titles than I'll ever probably see us win. But it was in, it's enough, do you know, because he's, he's he shared that experience with me. Yeah, that yeah. we've done it. No, that makes complete sense. That makes complete sense. Something else sort of in a completely sort of adjacent way, but similar to the circumstances. Marcos has made the point. One nice thing from these circumstances is that homegrown supporters and fans from every corner of the earth can have a shared experience. And I think that is actually a nice thing. We're all as one for this, for this moment. There's not the idea of who could or couldn't get in. There's not the idea of people trying to pay a lot of money to get in. There's the idea that we're all together and we're doing it the same way. And soon as they're on the television, you know, we'll have to reconcile Graham with the football club at some point across you know the next few weeks and months because the one thing that's come can, out on Sky since all this has kicked off is how I, proud he is. I was going to interject. I was going to say exactly the point you've just made. Um, I, I, I again going back to only because it's a, a touch point for me. You look at Sunis now; he's got tears in his eyes there, Do you mm. know, and he's emotional. And he was my dad's hero, and he was a lot of dad's hero. And it, and what he gave Liverpool on the pitch. And listen, he's made a mistake. And let's not get into the wider thing about it. But I don't think anyone is as happy. I don't care where they're from, 
for Liverpool as Graham Souness is right now. But also with that happiness, you can see it's pain and being there. Or am I imagining that? Yeah. But you, you can... No, 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 he's... That's what he's all about, Souness. It's, he's always that sort of complex mix of emotions. This right now is... You know, the game itself, I'm really pleased it was an occasion. I'm really pleased it went off. Uh, I'm really pleased it finished. I'd rather, much rather 5-3 than 2-0, even though I think that those footballers would have loved the clean sheet. Uh, and you can see them here right now. I can hear fireworks outside of ours. Um, and then going from there, um, it is, you know, all all coming ready here for the Reds and just settling ourselves in here to enjoy the next. Have you enjoyed it? The next. I mean, that sounds like a stupid question, but how have you? How have you enjoyed it? Sorry. This, I mean, I will say, you know. It's funny, isn't it, when we do what we do and there's different little aspects of it, but the one thing that I'd say and everyone who's around will say it was the case, I was always like, I will be at Leicester on Boxing Day. And I, my attitude was, I will be at Le- Leicester on Boxing Day and it'll mean something. And when it did, you know, that was the one for me. I'm going to upset thinking about it, but... Um, Mate, you can get upset. Like, no, no, I can get upset, it's fine. But for me, Leicester was when they'd won it. And lots of people want to say there's <clears throat> there's different points and there's different moments, but for me it was Leicester. It was Leicester when they won it, and yeah, it was having come so close in thirteen, fourteen, and then Leicester just did a point. I love you, lad. You know, <laughs> I absolutely fucking Thanks, love Sam. the bones of you, lad. <laughs> this could be it for the rest of this thing now. Just two lads saying a little of each other. I love you too, no. Andy. But yeah, Leicester was Leicester for me was just this thing of like for months it'll be massive that and then building up to it the day of the game and then going and it going off the way in which it did and in the ground and just knowing then we've waited and it was there. But this is what I mean about the like, the, 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 the thirty years of like almost hidden tension and I think like you talk about yeah. thirteen fourteen with with and what happened with it. With City and Chelsea and one thing and the other, you know, I, I, I kind of, I don't think you can underscore how much. Oh, here we go. How much that no, that on. fucking done us in. But here we go. You know what? Yeah. Let's just sit yeah. back and relax and and breathe this. And I don't want to disturb this for anyone. So I'm going to mute my microphone and turn my volume up. And I hope you all do the same. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's see what see what goes. We'll be back shortly. Add a little bits and pieces, add them as we go, right the way Cheska's through in. here. Francesca's in. Francesca's in. Near bits and pieces of the sky over the top here. That's that's me. From, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can hear it a little bit from me and we go from there. League title being brought out, which is fabulous to see. Tyler there playing the corporate part very, very well. Praising the chaps. We come through and... The league in position. By the way, uh, this is a really interesting little moment in terms of the idea of our rivals watching all this, all this pomp and ceremony. They'll be absolutely livid about it. Uh, absolutely fuming. Is the manager? Question. <laughs> Absolutely spectacular. It looks almost sci-fi-ish. It's very, very strange. Uh, massive hug there for Kenny from Pep Linders, which isn't socially distanced I, Kenny I'm, with the mask on. Just, just it's so the funny, game. that, isn't it? 
Hiya, Francesca. Well, we're just yeah. getting everyone up. It's all right, she's fine. She's got a little bit embarrassed there because you just realised she's on camera, but... Great, this, isn't it? It's damn funny how Pep... You see how Pep just sort of bounds yeah. the Kenny? He's got a mask on there, lad. They're all trying to do the social distance thing. Oh, man. But no, just go back to what you were saying before. I, I, I understand that pain and that and that kind of... That, that emotional release. Christ, lad, I've got... I've got to talk about that that that, that, that Leicester video, that Leicester game on a on a video we're doing and pulling together. It's going to be a mess. I'll be fine. Uh, I'll see how we get on. It's all the it's all the best. See how we get on. Yeah. Here we go. Back in team after big day. Yeah. yeah. All of them in, and it's interesting. The manager wants to come out first. He wants to know he's the manager. It's really really funny. Um, I love the way physios never look fit. <laughs> Oregon, excellent stuff coming all the way through, and everyone's got the kits on. It all looks a little bit strange, but they've all got the kits on, and we're going to get to see them as they come all the way through now, and it's going to be the business. It is someone saying they've made the, the class eh? job of this. I'm intrigued by it. Uh, it is Harvey Elliott, the first one coming on right the way along, uh, saying thank you very much indeed. So it Francesca, is a really, really strange little what, setup. Like, see that stand where it's sorry, guy, I know this is live, so it's really bad practice. It's fine. But my seat's just over there. This <laughs> is. <laughs> Alison there towards the trophy. So Fabulous stuff. There, right it's been incredible. And there is Adrian, who's played a massive role this season, by the way. It's an easy thing to say, but the sub keeper's in there for the first two and a half months of the season, and he does a fabulous job. And it's great to see, and he's the big man. He's the big man, and. There he is, and doesn't he look marvellous? Even though those shirts don't suit me <laughs> being worn backwards well. I'll be honest with you, the collar's mm. far too tight, but I mean, that's one for another day. That's a completely different job. I've got those traps! I've got those traps! I have those trains! <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'll claim I'll claim any glory in this. I see he's put his watch on as well, Excellent. which is a bit weird, but we are where we are. Yeah. They're all coming up one at a time. It's been a great game to have watched tonight. It's what's, what, the, what on earth has Firmino got on? What the fuck's he playing out here? <laughs> It's tremendous, got glasses on. Andy's swearing in front of his children, but we are where we are. Uh... <laughs> oh, what a set of lads they really are. Uh, how I'd love that to be a backhanded uh... dig at Liam Gallagher in some way, but, you know, we are where we are. Yeah. Fabinho yeah. there. Uh, Fabinho in there as well. Uh, all looking absolutely fantastic, and... You know, the, the togetherness of them, and I think you're going to see it right the way through on this platform. For me, you know, they're kissing the medal and all that sort of stuff. They're you're going to see the, the togetherness of them, Andy, and that's what's so impressive. Blower. More spectacles in this time. It's Genie Wijnaldum. Oh, the fans against Vubank's hologram there is brilliant. See that? Oh, no, well Yeah, it's great well to in. see. No, brilliant. Really good touch there. Yeah. Right up the front. Really, really strong stuff. And these fantastic footballers, Andy, they're the ones who've done it. They're the ones who've, who've done it for us, really. it's I'm intrigued by it. It was one of the things I asked Henderson about, that idea that they came so close last year. They won won the Champions League. And I wonder the extent to which they just all sort of looked at each other and said, right, well, we've got this other thing to do. We've got to go and win the Football League. Yeah, no, 100%. I think this step, this step is good. You can take it back further. I think you can take it back to Kiev in so much as when... As much as we said, you know, it's we've been hurt and one thing and the other. The attitude after Kiev was 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 ridiculous, and so much as this the start and not the end. Um, and I think they've proven that, and I I think the the managers lying about attacking the title next year <laughs> is is brilliant. Um, and it, I'm surprised. That I I'm surprised that I'm surprised when Yang comes out with something <laughs> that's like that's the most basic thing in the world. But why has anyone else thought of that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Why hasn't anyone else ever said that like that yeah. in the past? Yeah. 100%. Um, here's Divock here. Uh, Divock. Yeah. I made up yeah. they're all getting the moments as well. Yeah, no, it's nice that they're all getting it one at a time to come right the way through and get the medal put on them as they go. Uh, and <laughs> snapping it as they go. Is that Genie doing an Insta Live? He's doing his own Insta Live, yeah. my God. But that's doing better than He's not having those. problems with his internet signal on the, with his uh, Wi-Fi on the cop, is he? He must have the media password on, well, that's I all mean, I can I, think. Well, I mean, I, I couldn't say. <laughs> it's great Kenny's involved, isn't it, Andy? You know what I mean? Kenny there all the way through this. It's really, it's nice the way all the players bound up. They're made up to see Kenny first and foremost. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, I, 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 I'll still, I don't know, keep harking back to stuff, but one of my greatest memories of supporting the club is him walking down the touchline when he returned 
after they'd fired Hodgson. Mm. And I know we even lost that we lost that game, but and I think Phil Blunderlord, I was with Phil that day, and I think it was one of the greatest days of our lives because <laughs> it was. It, you just felt that there's someone there. There was someone there to be a bridge, you know, who had the, the club's better interest than art, and who would never, you know, what I'm going to show up now because we're getting the big fellas up now, aren't we? So, well, we'll do you want to do you want to carry on? No, do you want to carry on? We don't have to shut up at all. We'll just keep chatting. We're back away here for if people want the serious stuff. They can have Martin here Tyler, he and here he is, the vice captain. There you go, and what a fella as well. See, he's sensible. He hasn't got his shirt yeah. on back to front. No, none no, of that no, shit. Just... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I bet Excellent. you he's just sanitised his hands before he's come up as well. Ah, oh, he's a very reasonable man. Straight into Andy Robertson there. Okay. The standards these lads have held one and the other two. I'm looking at the training game here. I know you still got boots on. See, Milner's still got his boots on. Sign of a proper prop. Yep. <laughs> I love that they're doing their own atmosphere, Andy. It's really, really funny. It's, I mean, it shows what they'd want. They'd want us all to be there, but it's, you know, it's great that they're getting this moment together as well. And I think that that's a great thing. And you can just see them all buzzing off it massively. And it's what they've waited for and worked for for so long. And it's what the manager wants for each and every player who comes up there as well, which is which is fabulous. There, there is. Uh, the big dog. There he is. Uh, the big, the big yeah. fucking clumsy uh, dope. I love him. I say, yeah, I say that I love, I love I love him, him. but, you know. I, I love him. Uh, I'm, I love him. And these lads have the, all played the, the part. Salah uh, in his Egypt flag as well, wrapped around him. Uh, you know what, right? <laughs> he, he can get a pass. When I saw me done it, I was fuming. Mm. But he's had his air sprayed yet. Yeah, someone sprayed his air red. Look at that. <laughs> I just thought it was the lighting, but nah. There he is, Joel. Joel. Joel, Joel, I would let, I, would, I fall to sleep. I, I fall asleep listening to him when I'm struggling to sleep, talking about coconut water, you know. It's coconut <laughs> water. For, oh, oh McVeigh, hologram there as well. For those that missed it. Yeah, all that sort of stuff that are on there to come all the way through and, and to have that for us uh, all together. And you can see them all there. No, oh, hang on. There you go, Taki. Minamino, very nice indeed. He gets a medal. Uh, only just joined, but fantastic to see that he gets to be part of this and part of this and team. So, and so he should be. Yeah, massively so. Well, that's the way it works. It's literally how football operates. Uh, it is all all good stuff. Here um, he is. Oh, <laughs> shit, Dan. Here he is. Oh. Uh, got, his, got his goals against Everton. That'll yeah. do. Uh, advanced, you know, should get a medal every season. He's got against Everton. studio's best patience. It's easy, Andy, to say because they've just won the thing and they won the thing that they won last season, but <laughs> I don't half like them. <laughs> the Liverpool players, they don't half seem like a great set of lads. Oh, Nico Williams there. here getting his medal in as well. Yeah, no, they are. Um, and you know what? I would have thought, I listened back to the the thing with Henderson that you did with Gareth, um, and it's just how much of a social conscience they've got because it's very easy. One thing I found... So, and I hate to refer to it as a sports media because I still feel like a bit of a fraud with it all. No, I do. <laughs> I, honestly, I feel like we're, I'm with you 100%. I'm with you 100%. I, uh, um, yeah. But like, it's one thing to say social conscience and one thing and the other, but to actually do it and be proven to do it and do it without the need for it, the attention. Do you know what I mean? Because every story, here he is. Every story, here he is. Here he is. It, it's kind of leaked. Right, I am going to turn my sound off now because I want to take this in. Is that okay? That's fine, yeah, of course. Don't worry at all. I'll chat through it. What a magnificent career he's had. Look at them. Look at them all with him. He's had a proper career. There's been ups and downs for the man. He's been tremendous. And it isn't enough just to say that he works hard. He's a terrific footballer. And he's a person who could lead these players. Here we go. Jordan Henderson. Jordan Henderson. Are we going to do it, boys? Are we going to do it? <laughs> Pass that in there. 
There they boss are. Boss that. Chad, what have you got to say? Doesn't that look boss? Yeah, looks amazing. Who's your favourite player? Um, Firmino and Virgil and Fabino. <laughs> there you go, see? <laughs> Sold for me. There you go. Look at it, it looks absolutely fantastic. Anfield there looks it's enormous. Red, all the pomp and circumstance it deserves, Andy. Pot. 30 years, 30 years we've all oh waited. God. Jordan Henderson lifts it, Andy. Jordan Henderson does the business for Liverpool with the rest of these fantastic Oh, yeah, I was a bit, little bit worried about his gait when he was lifting it, you know what I mean? We, uh, it's been a massive concern all the way, all, all through his career. But no, what, what, if, anyone, if, if anyone's <laughs> epitomised... Liverpool's journey over the last couple of years. I know he's had the embodiment of NFC award, but it's that lad. Do you know what I mean? I what have looked at Jürgen sticking on the sidelines there, just letting everyone else drinking in, <laughs> letting everyone else drinking in. But the, he's. Oh, yeah. Let's get this right. You're talking about a fella who's who's been who's played in two European Cup finals for Liverpool, won one, and now he's won the Premier League. I'll never hear a, a bad word said about him again. Uh, I'd, I'd literally go nope. to war for him as he's gone to war for us. Yeah. Yeah, no, he has. I think that's a really important way to phrase it. He really has. He's my favourite thing about them as I wrote today is that the is that they've lost a league. All of them have lost at least one. That's last season's. Jordan knows what it is <coughs> to lose in thirteen, fourteen as well. But this is absolutely fantastic, and each of them will get a turn with it. And it matters so much for each of them because this is what the thing's been about. The, they are the champions. The Premier League champions is the goalkeeper, Andy. Brilliant stuff. The subkeeper who's been phenomenal all the way through, and everyone's going to go and get a little go in his shirt on Shakiri as well. He gets his little go, and fireworks are going off all over the place. He's the big fella getting shoved to the yeah, front. Uh, Virgil's desperate to push him in there, get him in, and get him involved, but he doesn't really want to. He wants to stay on the sides. I don't know. This. I think he's been a, been a bit of an old me back merchant here. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe he is. There we go. There you go. With, with, Lallana. with Lallana. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, well in. <laughs> Ah, boss. And, you know, you talk about the makeup of Liverpool squad, and look, it's easy to pinpoint Alisson and Van Dijk as big money <laughs> signings, but the journey, and I don't want to say it's a ragtag bunch, far from it, but they've all, each of our players, you talk about character, they've all had really interesting career paths, even like our big signings. You know, you, you talk about Van Dijk, was it Groningen and then Celtic and whatever, yeah. and then even Alisson was playing second choice to, was it Chesney at Roma? You know, it's like they've got a, yeah. they've had they've had stories where you can see the grit and determination come determinations come through. Mo Salah went from Basel to to Chelsea to to Roma. You know, Andy Robertson. I mean, what a fucking example of hard work and what you can do if you stick your mind to it. You know, and 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 graft like and graft like fuck. <laughs> you know, it's Sadio Mane and it's yeah. Jenny. Sorry, I'm prattling on now, but. No, you know, that's all. It's the right thing to say. They've all had that journey, each and every one of them. That's why the captain embodies them because he's had it at this club, and we've got to see those highs and lows all together. We've got to live that all of that. But they've all got that. They've all had to battle. They've all had to scrap, and it's incredible. Yeah. No, it's it's. it's and we've got some Dua Lipa right now, which is I, fantastic. See, I can't news. hear my 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 um my uh, my sound off, so don't. All, well, uh, no, I've got a little bit of. All, Dua. all I can smell right now by ours is fireworks smoke, though. Which you know, if we're oh, here and pops, absolutely going if on. You're here and pops. That's what it is. Hang on, it's at me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here we go. Dua Lipa, at the gigs. I got that right. Those gigs, Robert Roberto Firmino has got on. I'm sure he got them in a special edition box of the Reservoir Dogs in 1994. Because I did the exact same <laughs> pair with the orange lenses and everything. But I mean, I digress. Oh, no. All doing it all up the front. Talk about they're talking now on Sky with Kelly Cates about them doing it with seven matches still to play. Talking to Graham Sooners. It's why it's important they won tonight. They got that one more in. I've got to say, by the way, Andy, it could be any fucking score against Newcastle. Let's have it right. Uh, anything could happen in this game against Newcastle on Sunday. Uh, it really wouldn't surprise me if it was nine three. Which way? Uh, in yeah, either direction. Uh, yeah. Well, exactly in either direction. Um, because I don't think I don't think these lads are going home tonight. Um, no, should they? No, 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 exactly. Nor should they. That is exactly the point. Nor should they. No. Who's who? Who is Shergan trying to speak to? I don't to? know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I, I would imagine. Well, I don't know because apparently families weren't allowed in. So. The families it, were allowed it, in in the were, end, so it might be his family. But it's either, it's family. either his family or yeah. Matt McCann. <laughs> um, and you know what? Either is equally justified as well. Oh yeah, um, absolutely. But, you, you, uh, but just, just on that, I mean, I know I was taking the piss out of Matt a little bit there, but. We're privileged, and we're really privileged. And and people who are listening now don't ever think we take that that privilege, you know, for granted. To see things that go on in the background and just how much work goes into making sure 
to the team on the pitch. And I know it's a cliche, I, I prepared and have everything done for them and don't have any worries, but I think it's fair <laughs> to say the team behind the team, I, not that they're yep. expecting any credit. One thing Liverpool have got really right is the foundations. I wanted to say the foundations, it's the, it's the people on the ground who make sure that, you know, as much as they can. And they will make mistakes, and they've made mistakes this year, and they will continue to make mistakes. But it's the ability to learn from mistakes. I, I always go back to what something yeah well in fact what yeah said today losing is not a problem not learning from losing is the problem and mm. what i think what they've yep. demonstrated over the past four or five years especially is to learn from any minor mess ups correct them and also just improve on every level there's allison there with his bubbly i'll shut up now go on no it's great to see the bubbly and look at them all the ticker tape coming and learning from defeats learning from backs uh, setbacks on and off the pitch is massive for this club, but I think it's genuinely has happened. That's not to say that again they'll keep getting things absolutely right, and that you know I'm referring there to the ownership, the hierarchy, and the people making the decisions. But they've got a lot right, and you can't do what they've done without getting a lot right or spending one hell of a, a lot of money. Uh, and they haven't spent one hell of a lot of money, so therefore they've got a lot right. And look at them there with the title uh, right in front of them, each and every one of them. All together, these are your heroes. These are the best lads. The lads who did what no one else had done for us for how thirty did, how years. Did, how, how, did how did Paul Hogan get, get in there? Gets everywhere that lad. In, little in joke. Sorry, I know I've been told not to do in jokes, and I've just done one, so I apologise. <coughs> Absolutely sounds. Look at them but you've all said together. And you're, Neil, you've said heroes, and you're exactly right. You're exactly right. And look at Jordan yep. there, lad. Enjoy it. I always think sometimes yep. Jordan's too humble. And what I, if I if yeah, I was no, a little devil on Jordan's shoulder then right now I'd be saying fucking <laughs> get stuck in lad fucking get stuck in you should go into his yeah, own lap of exactly. honour exactly <laughs> yeah just on his own just do the mix own five seconds each one there you go <laughs> nah brilliant <laughs> look at it it looks absolutely but fantastic but you know what in the, as you referenced earlier it's not the way we want to experience it but I think whoever's been responsible for this mm. whether it's the Premier League Liverpool or a combination They've done this really well. <laughs> the manager, the manager, they're getting a bit upset like me as well. Before he must be thinking about Leicester away as well. Um, will always get us at this point. No, listen, yeah, as I said, it's it's it it, it, it oh, it's well, yeah, it, it what that is the point. You're allowed to get emotional, yeah. upset, and I wouldn't even say upset. It's more swelling. I think it's more like yeah, just that sort. There of, he is. Yeah, yeah. There he is. See, I told you he was waving at Matt. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Wasn't fucking right, was I? Uh, trying to get him sent over somewhere yeah, right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, text him now for a laugh. See if he picks up. <laughs> okay, now he's got, <laughs> got your phone in your hand, Matt. Because it hang him. Uh, hang on, my phone's going. Uh, yeah. Here he comes over now, the manager. We'll uh, yeah, we'll take a bit of a back seat we'll whilst the manager shortly. speaks to we'll Sky be because we, wanna, we all want to hear what he says. He's going back over to be with the players. Uh, it's really nice from Kelly Kate, actually. She could have done the demanded that he speak, but she doesn't. She sends him back over with the lads. She can chat away there. But the players will all sway together. And we saw this after the Barcelona semi, Andy. We've seen it a few times, but it is something that's absolutely fantastic that the players do want to be part of all of this with one another yeah, in this way. No, absolutely. And I, I keep saying absolutely, so I apologise to everyone. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't go... I, I mean, I'm soaking this in with minimal volume, but it, I always go back to the 2-2 two -two West Brom thing. Oh, okay, there he is. There he yeah. is. Look at that. Oh, the pair of them. Look at him. That breaks my heart. That, <laughs> oh, my God. That. No words. <laughs> yeah. No words. If you're making comments on other platforms, whether it's Facebook Live, Twitter, Periscope, wherever, we, we sadly can't see them currently. Um, it's not something that we've, we have we can set up to broadcast across all those little streams, but we can't see no. the different comments. So apologies. That, that, for that. That's my fault. I'm, I'm trying to spend like a lot of the points. I'd like to think your no, it's all right. I'd like to think I'd like to think your comments are mostly is right the Reds because that's all there is to say is right the Reds. What about this set of footballers? This set of humans? This set of support staff? They did what we wanted. I mean. I always go back to the, that brilliant 
thing that John did with with Dibok and Iggy, with Arnold and Iggy. You know, and you yeah. talk about values and stuff, and it's always the small stuff I always find, not just with football, but with anything. It's not the grandiose, it's not the... You know, and, and look, grandiose gestures are great. Not not every grandiose gesture is fit for publicity. In fact, most probably aren't. But it's the little human touch every now and again. You know, and I think that behaviour is just a, a prime example of just how. <laughs> there you go. Fucking enjoy it, lads. Enjoy it. There you go. There, there I'm rambling yeah. again. Listen, I'm going to go because we're going back to Kelly Cates. Go back to Kelly Cates and we'll begin to sum up afterwards, but we'll do this first. <laughs> this is a banger, to be fair, like... It is a banger. <laughs> He's almost in order. Who ever thought you'd see Graham Sunas in order of anyone? Sorry. Who ever thought you'd see Graham Sunas in awe of anyone? I know. <laughs> Look at that, the keepers there and the keepers, the, all the keepers together, the keepers crew. I was just saying, and all the keepers together there, all the keepers, all the keepers, the keepers, coaching staff, the keeper, the keepers, coach, the keepers, assistant coach, and the four keepers all together, all lifted it together. That tells you a bit of a story about how yeah, they see each other. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I was, funny enough, I was making the same, I was naming them all to Francesca just then. Um, I, I, I mean, you, you listen to Andy Lonergan, um, and it, there was some coach him attributed last month, and he was saying, you know, do you think I've just come here for two years and I'm grateful to be here, but I think I'm a far better keeper at my age now than what I was because of what they've been taught. And they are a unit and they support each other. I think you saw that yeah. in December with the League Cup thing when uh, Keller had yeah. to play and, you know, they will stick together. And listen, I'm 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 happy to admit when I'm wrong um, and I've been a critic of John Achterberg in the past. 
Uh, but what a fucking job he's done. Uh, yeah. With it with Allison and just you know just how much they've come on and look, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. I was made up with that as well. Just that they are that t- they are that tight. Yeah, they yeah. did that moment together. They'll have that picture. They'll all have that picture yeah, up on their exactly. walls. Yeah, exactly. And I'm also pleased with how happy. And this may sound daft and something obvious, but how keen, how keen Allison is to share it with them. He knows he's the best in the world. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, who, who can everyone subkeeper to him? Everyone in the world subkeeper to him. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I, I don't mean that to sound arrogant or dismissive, but how many times no, no. you see it in football where you know there's and I think that's something Liverpool have done well. I think you, you look at there's Adam Lallana there. How at home Harvey Elliott looks. He feels part of that squad. He doesn't feel. And there's been times when you know with the players, players we know who who had. Careers at Liverpool that maybe didn't hit the heights, and they always felt more like they, they were always second string. There's a going to cut Jürgen's doing a piece of the camera here, so yeah, so we'll go back to it in a minute. There you go, he's done. I'll, re- I'll, I'll rewind that and watch that back in a minute. There you go, yeah. So, yeah, um, happy. How are you? Well, I'm overjoyed. It was just spectacular to see them do it. As I said before, it was Leicester where I felt as though it was dawn and. When I just thought, you know, it'll go from there. The following night, City lost to Wolves away at Wolves, by the way, and then going to Wolves later on. But that idea for me all the way through, it was it was about, we'll see where we are after Leicester. It'll be after Qatar and all of that sort of stuff. And, you know, that day, that performance, the way they did so, the business, it was incredible. And this is the end of that process, Andy. And that's the thing. The thing is, you know, I always love the Ronnie Moran line about the palaver or the Bob Paisley line about the palaver or take a medal if you think you're worth it. But the point about that is that actors, though, the weren't points through the season where Ronnie Moran and Bob Paisley weren't absolutely oh, made up. Right. It's the easiest thing in the world to be delighted in May. But when you know in February you've got a title well, winning team, I that's the fucking one. I think proved it and deserved it. I mean, you saw about moments Leicester. I, I, I remember Villa in a way. You know, which was early mm. in the season when I think that's a pivotal game. The way they needed to put United to to to, to bed at Anfield. What I can't, the biggest thing, and I, I've been thinking about this while we've just while we've just been watching this, and I think if I can if I can bottle it, and it, and it's probably felt different for everyone else, but I've never felt the way I felt those five minutes of Brighton, uh, the last home game of last season when when City were playing Brighton. Yep. And we were ahead. And then it, you try not, and you're in this this weird battle with yourself. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. City getting beat. City getting beat. And I wonder what effect that had on the players because I remember the players going to fucking to shit. Oh, it's cool. it's for five bits. minutes, yep. and then City come back, and I was constantly not expecting or thinking it, but there was always that doubt. Like, how many knocks are these fellas gonna take before it breaks them? Before it breaks them, they've had Kiev. They've had Kiev. They played well at Barcelona. They got beat 3-0. They had the, 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 the title race the way it ended last season. And you know what, Neil Wright? The fucking... I'll say this now. These are fucking unbreakable. Unbreakable. I mean, talk about unbearable. <laughs> the fucking, no, but look at what they've been through. Look at what they've yep. been through. And look at the players who've, who've, who are there now who've been through the through the mill. I don't know about whether by look or design, and I'm pretty sure it's design, but I, I bow down to these. That This is... Incredible. That'll do me. And also, I steal everything. Uh, we'll call them the Unbreakable Reds. They are the Unbreakables. They did the thing we all wanted. Listen, thank you very much for joining us tonight. There's more of this stuff to come, but it's going to be Jordan Henderson doing interviews. It's going to be interviews wherever you are in the world with people talking about it. And we'll let them talk about it, let them voice it from the stage. Whatever platform you've watched us on, thank you very much for watching us. If you joined us on Hot Mic all the way through for the Chelsea 5 today, What a night we got to have together. One more night together. We'll get nights together again soon. Nights together in the ground, nights together in bars and supporters clubs. Until then, though, we've got them all. We've got all the games, all the days. We've got all of our Leicester aways. Thank you very much to Andy Heaton. Thank you very much to you for joining us. It has been the Anfield Wrap right the way through, on social, on hot mic. Take it easy. All the best. All the best. Because here's to the fucking unbreakable Reds. (laughs) 